Welcome to Hellam in Dundee, Scotland. This video is to show you an operational water lift in a carn ring mill. This was a jute finishing mill and the lift was manufactured in the 19th century. So now go in and have a look at the lift itself. This is the lift itself. It is enclosed in a glass cage purely for display and safety purposes. What you're seeing is the cage, counterweight at the top left, and the pressure valve system bottom left. On the glass display case, you can see inscription from Historic Scotland and Heritage Lottery Fund. We restored this lift to the condition you see it in now. And this lift is fully operational. Now we're going to show you how the lift actually works. I got one of my colleagues to turn on the water and then pressurise the system. Here is a closer look at the mechanism showing the water tap and the pressure gauge on top of the pressure system. We are now looking at the operating mechanism and the self switch off mechanism that will move the lift up and down. And under so I'm switching the tap on. Can it water? Steer, so it's going to steer. Now according to the dog oh, right. I'm pulling it up to make the lift go up. And that's the lift now moving from the ground floor on top of the piston to the upper floor. It's very smooth, very efficient. When it reaches the upper floor, the automatic shut off, which is a rubber ring. Move into place, it is being moved by a simple device underneath the cage. It will be engaging very soon. That's it engaged and it's now turning off automatically the lift. Okay. Oh no, shut them down. As you can see, from the running water, this is a water powered lift and what's making it rise and fall is water pressure. We shall now open the sluice at the bottom of the rod and allow the water to flow back into the stream. This, of course, will reduce pressure and gravity will bring the lift down to the rest. Okay. I'll now pull the chain and lower the lift. The lift will automatically close the doors above it by the very clever design of the roof cage. And this was a health and safety feature in the 1800s. It is very, very smooth.
And that is the operation of the helm, water lift, circa 1800s. Thank you for watching. We are now going to show the lift in operation from the floor above. The lift will come and it will automatically open the trap doors you can see at the, the grey trap doors and we'll show you this operation now. We are now moving the chain up which will allow water pressure to move the piston and the lift will slowly come up and then the ingenious device on the top will open the trap door. You will not see the lift level with the floor because the floor has been elevated and here is the lift appearing now on the upper floor. It has a self-restraining mechanism which will automatically stop it. And it's solely powered by water pressure. You can see the top of the mechanism. And that is the lift in the elevated position. We will now lower the lift and the whole mechanism will automatically close. Flushing the water back to the drain, allowing the piston to return to its position, and the trapdoors will automatically slide over the intricate design of the lift cage and close. This is health and safety circa 1800s. We hope you enjoyed our video and thank you very much for watching.